Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel, you Career with Atif. So, as many of you know uh, from my background, uh, I have started you know my career with Bangalore Metro. So I worked there for around four and a half years, and one of the queries which I frequently received, even today that I receive is, uh, they want to join Bangalore Metro. So what are the ways? So how can they get a job at Bangalore Metro? This is one of the most common query that I receive. So in this video, I will uh, you know try to explain you all. So what are the different recru recruitment methods that you know Bangalore Metro employs you know to hire the uh, 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 civil engineers. So we'll look everything into like we will look uh, how Bangalore Metro hires freshers. We will also look how Bangalore Metro you know hires experienced civil engineers. We will also look. Uh, what are the different domains? Again, this is uh, one of the query which I received that once we join Bangalore Metro as a civil engineer or as a yeah a civil engineer, so uh, what will be the job profile? So what will be the work responsibilities? So this is also again one of the most common queries. These two also I will you know cover in this video. So first things first. So how does Bangalore Metro hires? So uh, before that, I'll ju I just want to start with an introduction. So Bangalore Metro is a SPV, that is a special uh, vehicle, which means it is a joint venture of government of India and government of Karnataka. So in that sense, Bangalore Metro is not, you know, completely a government company or a government job, so as to say. So it's a joint venture. Uh, the recruitment types how Bangalore Metro hires uh, civil engineers is, uh, it is on contractual basis. Now, if you are wondering why Bangalore Metro hires only contractual and not regular full-time roles is because it's a special vehicle. So it is not entirely a government organization. So that is the reason why they hire contract basis. All the employees uh, of Bangalore Metro are on contract basis, irrespective of whether you are a graduate engineer or a uh, any position, assistant engineer, AWE, even MDs. So even they get transfers, CEO, uh, managing directors of Bangalore Metro. So these are the uh, background about Bangalore Metro and how they hire. So when it comes to uh, freshers, uh, Bangalore Metro hires freshers. Uh, there are two to three ways. One is when you are a student, if you are a BE, BTEC, civil engineering student or a MTEC, uh, master students in structural engineering or any branch like it could be geotech it could be transportation so you can do an internship to start your career and this is before you you know actually graduate so before graduating as a part of your uh, academics as a part of your curriculum so you will be uh, doing the internship with bangalore metro again um, how to apply for this internship so on Bangalore Metro website, you there is a form uh, that has been hosted. There is a specific time duration during which Bangalore Metro allows it. So what you need to do is, this is only for students, remember. So this is not for someone who's already passed out or having a one or two years experience. So how to apply is, there is a form on the website. You need to fill it. You need to get a, a, a form from your college that you know you will be interning with the Bangalore Metro. Again, you need to fill the form, you need to submit your documents and they will select. You need to submit this form along with the documents to inquire about the internship at the Bangalore Metro head office. So you need to go in person there. So uh, there you need, you can even inquire about the say uh, uh, duration and also like uh, any other things that are needed. So this is how, uh, but one thing to notice all the metros including Bangalore Metro, offer internships. So this is very important. Many people, you know, are not aware of this. So not all the companies offer internships. All the metros, be it Bangalore Metro, Delhi Metro, Kolkata Metro, all the metros that I know offer for internships. Only thing is you need to approach them by visiting, say, in person, or if, if you have someone known there, you can get information about how is the procedure to apply for internship. But good news is they offer the internships and this is a very best way to start your career and to actually understand how Bangalore Metro works. 
so this is one thing so uh, for an internship i have said you have what is the procedure and how to apply uh, obviously when you are shortlisted you will be getting the communication via email or you know this thing and it's a very good opportunity so second way uh, uh, how bangalore metro hires graduate engineers so once you have finished your say uh, engineering civil engineering or masters any branch civil uh, structural uh, transportation geotech environmental anything so second way is bangalore metro hires graduate engineers civil by two uh, methods first method is is how i got into bangalore metro in 2018 so this method is bangalore metro conducts a written test their own written test you know to hire uh, people their own written test means like you may be aware of you know the government exams you may be you know seeing your friends preparing for government exams and all so bangalore metro conducts their own examination of civil engineering all the subjects it won't be specific to anything so they conduct a written examination after that if they feel the need they conduct the interview then there will be document verification and then there will be section this is how i was selected in bangalore metro back in 2018 so how do you get to know about such requirements obviously bangalore metro hosts on its website bangalore metro also posts about this in the leading newspapers english kannada and yeah uh, basically these two so this is one way also second way how bangalore metro hires graduate is via gate exam so you may be aware that a lot of psus uh, recruit civil engineering uh, uh, civil engineers via uh, 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 examination like gate exam the lot of psu hires so similarly bangalore metro two hires uh, uh, civil engineers freshers basically like with no experience this is what i'm talking about so via gate exam again uh, you need to qualify gate exam there is you know a certain criteria uh, th that much percentage of marks will be prescribed by bangalore metro if you get uh, get to that score you can essentially apply to uh, bangalore metro again the procedure is same the procedure will be applying online sending documents then there will be a selection process and this is recently to uh, yesterday the this video uh, i am recording it on uh, 3rd uh, may so uh, recently bangalore metro has this recruitment mode open so bangalore metro is recruiting graduate civil engineers via gate score so there was 60 percentile of gate score over you know is having 60 percent of gate score gate score can apply and Uh, go through the process if they get shortlisted yeah uh, they uh, officially you know can work as a civil engineer is uh, in uh, bangalore metro and again a point to remember is this is yeah again a contract basis generally a three year contract basis is what they hire for and also one of the most common uh, doubt i get is what happens after our contract period gets over suppose say bangalore metro is currently hiring as i said third may as of third may 2025 they are hiring graduate engineer civil say for 3 years contract period so what happens after the 3 years contract period do we need to search for any other job do we need to you know uh, search start searching for another opportunities or how so this is i'll tell you something with my experience bangalore metro generally doesn't terminate you or you know uh, after your contract ends they say you know you find a new job unless you have performed badly in that contract period so unless something your performance is reviewed so that is a no brainer whoever is your supervising you know manager or a supervising engineer under whom you are reporting so obviously your performance gets reviewed on a regular basis so you will be like on say yearly basis you will be seen like what work you are doing whether it's you know as per the bangalore metro sops and all of those sorts so your performance will be reviewed unless and until you are not performing well your contract doesn't get terminated like after 3 years they won't say uh, find another job uh, that way so they the contract gets auto renewed as long as you are performing your duties well and that's generally the case Uh, this I, i haven't seen this happening no bangalore metro has removed someone um, uh, due to their bad performance yeah bad performance they can remove but certain adverse conditions have not generally are not generally seen so this is how bangalore metro hires you know uh, uh, graduate engineers now for experienced person say you are having 3 years experience you are having 5 years 6 years 7 years whatever for them also bangalore metro hires regularly so this hiring is uh, generally dependent on the requirement basis uh, 
so whenever you know there are there is requirement from the bangalore metro uh, uh, project wise they'll release the notification again they'll release it on newspapers leading news super kannada in kannada in english again on their websites so uh, again for even experienced person say what are the posts for experienced person i'll i'll uh, let i'll tell you the hierarchy so in bangalore metro there is first intern or the apprentice that's the lowest level then there is graduate level then there is you know uh, section engineer and then above that assistant engineer then ae assistant engineer is ae then awe assistant executive engineer then double e executive engineer then there is deputy chief engineer then there is chief engineer and so on these are higher post so for any of these post generally assistant engineer means someone having around 5 years of experience again uh, section engineer means around 3 to 5 years of experience is needed to you know apply for a section engineer role again a e a w e a w e is you know a e is 5 years a w e is more than 6 7 and above say a deputy chief engineer may be requiring a 10 years experience so this is how it is so for experienced people also bangalore metro hires again this is also on contract basis all the jobs no matter how bangalore metro hires is on the contract basis and next coming to the very big question how is it you know working in the bangalore metro so you know uh, whether it is good bad rewarding challenging exciting so a lot of people have this question so as per my experience bangalore metro is a fairly good place um uh, you know uh, to work so yeah i have started my career so you know bangalore metro i had recruited me via a recruitment exam so bangalore metro is a very good place to work so this is one thing also um, one of the most you know important uh, uh, question that i receive is when we are you know uh, uh, recruited by bangalore metro so where they will put us whether we will put on site whether we will put on design or what domain we will be working to answer this question that actually you know depends on certain condition certain uh, qualities to say so uh, what are those uh, these things so first your education qualification say if you are having only a btech probably most probably you will be put on site execution that is uh, on site uh, this if you are having mtech say there are chances that they might put you into design again there are no fixed rules that you are you know uh, having an mtech so definitely you will be put in design it depends on requirement at that particular stage when you are recruited so where there is requirement they will be posting on that uh, department so there are lot of departments so in bangalore metro it's not like only site and design in four and a half years of my experience my stay at bangalore metro i worked in all the departments i worked in site i worked in quality control that is prefabrication yard i have worked in uh, the, you know tenders you know you evaluate tenders uh, i have worked in contracts evaluation i have done billing of quantities i have also uh, uh, moved to the design so i have almost worked in all the departments so this is one of the good part one of the plus point of bangalore metro that if you are interested if you are you know proactive you will get to work in all the departments is not only site or not only design so yeah this is one of the biggest plus of bangalore metro and it's a fairly you know good place to work so yeah if you have any questions regarding any of the recruitment methods of bangalore metro or say uh, any other thing you need to know just put that in comments i would be you know happy to help